it might be easy to do three because you can just place the good divvy up right side, left side, middle side. It's on, I already did that. No orientation, no anything. Uh, in fact, uh, I had no idea. I had actually never walked through the front door of the medical school until my first day of class. And I asked the security guard where to go, and he said, I don't know. And I said, huh, wonder where I go to. And I eventually found the classroom, didn't know a single person in the room, sat down in the far back left corner, as far as I could get away from the front of the room, and uh, somebody walked out, didn't introduce themselves, didn't say, like, I'm Professor so-and-so, and this course is anatomy, which I subsequently found out. In fact, his, the first words I heard in medical school were, first slide. And a slide popped up. And he asked a question. And I thought that was kind of rhetorical, like asking, he was pointing at something, and said, well, what is this? I knew it was a human body but that was about as close as I got. But about half of the class were leaping to their feet, waving their hands to be called on. And I said, huh, it's going to be a long four years. <laughs> you know, I had never raised my hands ever in class, and I, I realized this was a different world. Well, slowly but surely, I got close to my white coat ceremony. And I want to describe my white coat ceremony because it captures everything about medical school in the 1970s. So at the end of class one day, they said, everybody come in alphabetical order. We had no idea how in the world you did that. But we all got up, and we got a little index card, and it had our name on it. And it had the name of a room in Bellevue Hospital. Now, I was over at the medical school at NYU. I had never set foot in Bellevue Hospital. Bellevue Hospital in those days was a very scary place. <laughs> to put it mildly. And uh, so they said, go over there and pick up your white coats. So you think finding the lecture hall in the medical school was tough. The place where the white coats were was underground, underneath one of the 14 buildings, interconnected by tunnels under the ground. And uh, so eventually, after a lot of dead ends, I get to this room, and there's a big counter across the room and there's lots of stuff on shelves, and a lady sitting there making me terrified. So I walked up, and I said, I'm here. I'm a medical student. I'm here for my white coats. And she grabs the card. She steps back. She looks at me and goes, okay, these will fit you. And she throws two white coats on the table and says, you lose them, you pay for them. And that was the end of my white coat ceremony. <laughs> And I walked out, shaking, uh, found my way out of Bellevue, and uh, I have no idea how long I wore those white coats. You washed them yourselves, and I, I never lost them, but I don't think I was ever asked to turn them in either four years later, so I probably stole them. But that was it. There was no welcome to medical school. There was no welcome to the profession. You just figured it out on your own. So what is this white coat ceremony all about? First and foremost, it is the complement to the beginning of learning science and learning the skills of being a doctor. Because the other piece of becoming a doctor is the personal, professional identity transformation that happens in you. <clears throat> and at one point in your life in the future, you will barely remember the person who's sitting in this room. Because the person sitting in this room isn't a doctor. And slowly but surely, you will become a doctor. And that doctor is a different kind of person than the person sitting in this room. And when you've made that transformation, it's wonderful. But you'll never go back. And you'll never think of yourself in any other way. And you'll find yourself seeing common things in your life through a different lens. And you'll realize, wow, 
I have been medicalized for good and for bad. The bad is you can overdo it. But the good is that in becoming truly a different person, you have the opportunity to absolutely love every day of your life. It is the most incredible privilege. Look what's happening in COVID. Who was fully employed in COVID? Doctors and nurses, right? We never lacked for meaning. We never lacked for an opportunity to understand what we could do. Some of us believed we were becoming heroes. Others were a little scared, but went ahead anyway. And the privilege of being a physician and wanting to go to work every day, not working so you could put food on the table, but you really wish you never went to work. We're amongst the lucky people in the world. We love what we do. And you will too, but you only do it when you make that transformation. And today's the first day that celebrates the inauguration of that transformation. So I wish that you do that because some people are afraid to kind of let go and become a different person. I know that. Uh, you have to at some point do it. And when you do it, all kinds of things fall in place in your life. And all kinds of things that seem difficult just become intuitively obvious that you can do it. And so one thing I want you to remember, let go of who you are now. You'll come back whether you like it or not. Believe me, you won't get lost somewhere. And just dive in. And every day, dive in with all your energy. And every time you see a patient, step back and say it's a privilege, not a job. And every day when someone needs you and they're scared and they want you to help them because they trust you, establish that trust and earn that trust. And then celebrate the privilege of being the person who was put in that position. So you'll learn science, you'll learn skills, you'll learn how to do clinical reasoning. In fact, no, I'm not doing I think I may be doing that with your class this coming week. Everybody does know I call on people, yes? <laughs> You've all heard that? Good, okay. And that I never call on anyone who raises their hand. My first day in medical school made me never ever call on those people again. <laughs> but it is an amazing thing to let this happen. And today is the day we celebrate that you are going to transform yourself into a doctor. And so how all this got started is a very interesting story. I'm going to ask Dr. Battinelli to come up and tell you a little bit about how this day started in all of American medicine. Dave? Uh, let me offer my congratulations to everybody, to you, your families, other people who are watching, and um, tell you a little bit about the white coat ceremony. So it is the oldest and most well-known program of the Gold Foundation. The Arnold P. Gold Foundation was established, has established the white coat ceremony uh, in 1993. So although the white coat has been a part of the profession for that a very long period of time, really this, the ceremony is relatively new although uh, probably you think that's ancient history. The, the first white coat ceremony took place at that time at Columbia University. At that time, Dr. Arnold Gold who was a professor of clinical neurology and a professor of clinical pediatrics there. He had subsequently passed away. But he and his wife, Sandra, both noted that the existing practice of having students take their Hippocratic Oath at the end of their medical training occurred four years too late. The Gold Foundation instituted the ceremony, the white coat ceremony, as a way to emphasize humanism in medicine at the very start of medical education. With support from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, they advanced the white coat ceremony far beyond Columbia. In just a few years, the ceremony was adopted by nearly every medical school in North America, and today 99% of the U.S. schools accredited by the Association of the American Medical Colleges holds a white coat ceremony. In 2014, recognizing the vital role that nurses play in healthcare and on the healthcare team, the Gold Foundation partnered with the American Association College of Nurses to adopt a white coat ceremony for nurses. 
More than 300 schools of nursing now participate, and the number continues to grow. So we at the Zucker School of Medicine have considered humanism a core value and have invested heavily in making sure that our longitudinal integrated curriculum has humanism well represented, not only through PPS, our Physician, Patient, and Society course, but our communications curriculum and in, in the threads throughout the entire curriculum. Uh, we have also established a goal humanism chapter where a selected group of students are elected by their peers later in the medical school years based on demonstrating exceptional attributes in humanism. The Gold Humanism chapter is only the second national medical school honor society after AOA to gain national recognition weighs heavily in the selection of students for advanced graduate training. So we could not be more proud of how well our students and our faculty have embraced humanism as a core mission of this school. Now, we don't give you that code on the very first day of medical school for a clear reason. And Dr. Smith talked about the transformation that will be occurring and is occurring currently. So now that you've completed your EMT training, we felt this was the appropriate time and year after year, this is when we initiate and give you the white coat. You'll talk about the Hippocratic Oath and uh, after you have your white coat, you reach into your pocket for that uh, note from an upperclassman and also the pin, I guess, for your EMT and also your gold uh, pin. So with that, I want to congratulate everybody, welcome you, and turn this over to Dr. Rona Wallenberg, who is our Dean for Admissions, and I guess the other person who is uh, at least partly responsible for this opportunity for you, Dr. Wallenberg. Thank you, Dr. Battinelli, and uh, welcome to all of the students who are in the room and who will be in the room shortly, uh, as well as to your families. This is my favorite day of the year, and I regret not being able to greet your families personally today because I probably, more than anybody, know that it takes a village to raise a medical student. And I'm hoping and I'm confident that all of your villages who are attending remotely today will be able to um, get the feeling of what a sense of accomplishment it is to, to walk into this room to get that white coat and to start on your journey as a medical professional. So I welcome all the villages who are attending virtually. Uh, those students who are attending virtually, they will be on the screen so everybody, including their families and friends, will be able to see them as well, and we will have uh, adequate transition time for them to be projected up onto the screen. So at this point, I would like to present to you all uh, the entering class of 2020. The virtual students to turn on the video. And will the virtual students uh, please turn on their videos at this time? We start with Richard Adamovich Zeitlin. <laughs> Priyanka Algu. Thomas Anisi. Pega Bahar.
Taylor Back. <laughs> Stephanie Banks. Janos Barbero. <laughs> Michael Barton. Daniel Bustardi. <laughs> Grant Burland. Sham Bagat. <laughs> Sabrine Buya. Colin Bratner. <laughs> Madeline Burlingame. Stephanie Bush. Mariah Buzel. Sarah Bion. <laughs> Alex Lehan Chang. Megan Coles. <laughs> Wade Coomer. David Delijani. <laughs> Quincy DeYoung.
Herman Dillon. Paris Dillon. Jonathan Farshadmad. <laughs> Nicholas Favaza. Daniela Garcia. Samantha Getson. Dung Dan Guo. <laughs> Julia Haft. Taylor Hardy. Brenna Harrington. Matthew Ho. <laughs> Sungmin Hong. Griffin Hornung. Catherine Ho. Jorge Benegas. <laughs> Joshua Isler. <laughs> Tom Jorgensen. Timothy Cassetta. <laughs> J. 
Julia Katz. Kimberly Kiplagat. Mayumi Kohiyama. Anshul Kulkarni. Anna Kuznetsova. Simon Lampert. Dimitri Lappin. James Lassen. Christy Lung. Being Lee. Noah Lisser. Weighing Lou. Christopher Luan. <laughs> Bria Majet. Minkus Rebecca Marie Marochnik <laughs> Stephanie Cynthia Ogier. Michael Ohene Adjay.
Michael O'Say. Temisan Osoa. <laughs> Jose Palacios. Ethan Pan. <laughs> Bhakti Patel. Rija Patel. <laughs> Travis Peng. Rebecca Phillip. <laughs> Fabiola Plaza. Tiffany Porras. <laughs> Ariana Ram. <laughs> Emma. Rodney. <laughs> Caroline Russo. Ellen Safarian. <laughs> Matthew Salim. Shazeb Salim. <laughs> Rohan Sampat.
Brandon Santa Meyer. Yaela Saperstein. <laughs> Jessica Schwartz. Mitchell Lee Joaquin Seitz, Jr. <laughs> Paris Shaw. Jessica Sheng. <laughs> Kyle Shutkind. Ian Simonson. Reed Smith. Adam Striggins. <laughs> Pearl Subramonian. Our birthday girl, Cameron Tate. <laughs> Ella Taubenfeld. Emeka Udedebia. <laughs> Taylor Valerio.
Deep Sea Varathon. Carol Wong. Leslie Wan. Yanwei Sha. Noah Yaskowitz. And last but not least, Ariel Yu. Congratulations to the entering class of 2020. Okay. Well, congratulations to everyone. You guys look great. I'll just give you one tip about white coats. Patients really don't like dirty ones, especially other people's blood on them. So wash them frequently and keep them as, as crisp looking as you look today. And you guys look great. So we're going to all say the oath together. The people in the other room, Dr. Battinelli is going to lead the oath. And we're going to start right now. Do the best to keep up in cadence. This is usually the hardest part by far. I'll start, but I want you guys to take over. Yes, they should all stand, you're right. <laughs> Everyone stand. Okay. I swear to fulfill, keep talking, to the best of my ability and judgment, this covenant. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those physicians in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as in mind with those who are to follow. I will apply for the benefit of the sick all measures that are required, avoiding those twin traps of overtreatment and therapeutic nihilism. I will remember that there is an art to medicine as well as science and that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call on my colleagues when skills of another are needed for our patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patients, for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I spread with care in matters of life and death, and never abuse the power that has been bestowed upon me. I will remember that I do not treat a fever char, a cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect not only the person, but a family and community. I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings those sound of mind and body as well as the infirm. I will maintain the health of my own mind, body, and spirit 
so I am able to discharge my duties appropriately. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and art, respected while I live, and remembered with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and may I long experience the joy of healing those who are Congratulations. Thank you. So now I understand that we have strong controls on your exiting this we'll room. Do the video first. Should we? Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's do yeah. it. Um, do you want to hand me your level? Oh, that's like a CD. This is it. Uh huh. This is very perfect. perfect. I know. Stay there. Don't go too far. Okay. We'll ask everyone to take a seat back down again, please. And then we are going to show a video that the inductees of the Gold Honor Society coordinated. Some of your upperclassmen could not be here with you today, obviously, but wanted to wish you well. So we are going to, uh, to show that for you. So give us just one second for transition. I'm going to give that back. Class of 2024, my name is Liliana. Um, unfortunately, we can't be there in person to relish in all of your accomplishments. So me and my classmates decided to send you a little bit of love. Congratulations to the Bucks of the Women of 2024. Um, I know that this year is so different from the ways in which you might normally celebrate, but it certainly doesn't take away from the outstanding accomplishment of receiving your white coat. You should all be so proud and just know that your family, friends, and fellow classmates are absolutely rooting for you guys behind these cameras, and we're here to support you if you ever need anything. Congrats. Hello, class of 2024. Congratulations on the big accomplishment. Hey, MS1s. Congratulations on finishing CPR and making it to your white coat. This is a really exciting and a very large milestone of your medical journey. So I hope you get to enjoy it and you get to celebrate with your family and your loved ones. So wear your white coats well. Hello, my name is Brittany Nathan, one of the MS4s. I just wanted to say congratulations on receiving your white coats today. You all have shown us that you can handle any new situation thrown at you. So I know for sure that you are all going to make us proud. Congrats again and all the best. Hi, Miss Ones. Congratulations on making it to this wonderful milestone on your journeys. Though these are weird and difficult times, true, I think that only makes it even more incredible and beautiful that you're doing what it is you're doing. You've got this, and we are here for you every step of the way. Hello, class of 2024. My name is Chang Kim, and I'm a fourth year medical student at the Zucker School of Medicine. I want to personally congratulate you all on this journey to becoming a great physician. I am excited for you all to begin this journey. I'm excited to be your future colleague, and please let me know if any of us could be of any help. Best of luck. Hey MS ones, a big, big hearty congratulations today for your white coat ceremony. It's a really special day. I still remember reading that oath for the very first time three years ago in your shoes, and to this day it gives me goosebumps. It's one of the fondest memories you'll have of your med school journey. So enjoy it, post lots of pictures on social media, and I will love all of them. Congrats again. Hi everyone, this is Sam Butensky, one of the fourth years. I just want to congratulate you on this major accomplishment. You all should be so happy and proud of yourselves. And my best advice to you is to try to live in the, in the moment, in the present, and always remind yourself that you guys belong. We're all here for you and rooting for you. Class of 2024, Marcel here. Uh, sending you many congratulations on the big day. I'm looking forward to when we can celebrate together. Hey, Class of 2024, congratulations on a big day. Going forward, things are gonna get a little bit difficult. You're gonna face a lot of hurdles in your academic and medical career, but you made this far, you deserve to be here. Hey guys, congrats on making it this far. You've accomplished so much getting into medical school and getting through CPR, and now you're getting your white coats. We're all very proud of you, and we wish you the best. You have a tough road ahead of you, but you have everything you need to get through it. We believe in you. Keep going. Congratulations to the class of 2024 on your white coat ceremony and embarking upon an incredible journey. Hey y'all, my name is Tommy. I just wanted to congratulate you guys on some very big accomplishments. You got into med school, you made it through CPR, and so you definitely earned those white coats. Although we couldn't be here with you today, 
We're still so very proud of you for a successful start to your first year. So here's to many more. Cheers. Okay, I just wanted to express on behalf of all of the faculty and um, staff and individuals, upperclassmen and other students who are typically here to congratulate our students on this huge accomplishment. So we wanted to express thank you at this point in time. For those students that are with us in both rooms, we will, we will progressively lead you out in a appropriately social distanced fashion. We will give you your, your bags containing some, some surprises and treats and, and congratulatory gifts. And we hope that you are as proud of yourselves or even partially as proud of yourselves as we are of you today. So congratulations on this huge accomplishment. And uh, we look forward to watching you as you walk further along this path of medical education. Congratulations. Make it stop. Is it off? <laughs>